the first question is like this. So the this is communication systems. Um, what is ground wave? What is ground wave propagation? What is ground wave propagation? This is what we have to know. In ground wave propagation, in ground wave propagation, in ground wave propagation, the radio waves the radio waves travel along the surface of the earth travel along the along the surface of the earth surface of the earth These waves are called these waves are called these waves are called ground waves ground waves or surface waves or surface waves. These waves are called ground waves or surface waves. These waves, these waves are not confined to the surface of it. surface of earth but but are but are guided guided along the earth's surface So that they are guided along the bulk surface. They can follow the curvature of the earth. They can follow the follow the curvature of the earth. Curvature of the earth. So it is like this. Follow the curvature of the earth. Come on, return. Yes, sir. Now we have a diagram. So suppose this is the earth. Illa wave hitches nama hitches travata. It will be like illa tick mark laga petendi. So that will be like wave friends. Okay, illa tick mark laga petu edan. So this is how we draw the wave friends. So these are like successive wave friends. successive wave fronts 
so just put like a tick mark so this is how they travel glide cheskunte velthund anamata wave this is how the waves will travel and they follow the curvature of the earth most important they follow the follow the curvature of the earth curvature of the earth they follow the curvature of the earth ప్రోగ్రెసింగ్ అలాంగ్ ద సర్ఫేస్ ఆఫ్ దర్ వైల్ ప్రోగ్రెసింగ్ along the surface of the earth surface of the earth while progressing along the surface of the earth the ground wave induces current the ground wave induces current in the ground in the ground in the ground and bends and bends bends at the corners at the corner of the objects of the bends at the corner corner of the objects of f so due to this reason to this reason so due to this reason the energy of the ground wave the energy of the ground wave the energy of the ground wave is gradually absorbed by the is gradually absorbed by the earth is gradually absorbed by the earth and power of the ground wave and power of the ground wave power of the ground wave and power of the ground wave decreases decreases with increase in distance with increase in distance from the transmitting station 
from the transmitting station from the transmitting station please note it amma not just not to such a comma yes sir done now the next part what is attenuation what is attenuation what is attenuation the phenomenon the phenomenon of loss of power of loss of power of loss of power of ground wave of ground wave of ground wave is called attenuation is called attenuation is called attenuation attenuation increases increases with increase in the frequency with increase in the frequency attenuation increases with increase in the frequency okay so the ground waves so the ground waves are limited to frequency of r limited to the frequency of frequency of 1.5 megahertz that is 1500 kilohertz to wavelength or you can say or wavelength of wavelength of 200 meters so we should not give any wavelength more than 200 meters meters so 200 meters wavelength means it is radio waves generally Okay, man. Noted. Just one minute, sir. Okay, ma'am. Please. 
వీడియో నో ఇష్యూ they will see that next one puja get now okay <clears throat> why the antenna we choose should be of same wavelength of uh, should be of uh, comparable wave comparable comparable size that of the wavelength of the wave wavelength of the wave so this is one important question this is a one mark question the reason is to radiate to radiate signals with high frequency signals with high frequency to radiate signals with high frequency the antenna should have size antennas should have size comparable to the comparable to the top comparable to that of wavelength of the signal wavelength of signal so that wavelength how much it should be that uh, is the size should be lambda by 4 antenna size is lambda by 4 this factor please remember this is one of the important factor communication systems law is a very important type question so the antenna length of the antenna should be lambda by 4 many times they ask it this what should be the minimum length of the antenna in order to radiate high frequency signal in order to radiate high frequency signal what should be the length of the antenna that should be lambda by 4 remember this very important that should be lambda by 4 here it should be lambda by 4 clear about this yes sir okay right the uh, next one the range of the ground wave transmission the range this is not a question the range point is the range of the ground wave transmission ground wave transmission the range of the ground wave transmission can be increased by can be increased by can be increased by the increasing the power of the transmitter increasing the power of the power of the transmitter 
increasing the power of the transmitter. The ground wave propagation, ground wave propagation the ground wave propagation is used for low frequency is used for low frequency why low frequency why low frequency ante low frequencies unnappudu maatrame energy attenuation takku untundi high frequency degara energy attenuation ekku ga untundi that's the reason okay low frequency low frequency band and medium frequency medium frequency medium frequency means mf we will write medium frequency band okay but not for high frequency band why high frequency band is not chosen due to large attenuation why this attenuation because when the wave is trying to travel on the ground it will induce some current into earth when it is inducing current it will be losing energy larger the frequency larger the energy attenuation larger the current it will induce larger the attenuation attenuation means energy fall there will be energy fall when the wave is transmitting along the ground so when the frequency increases there is larger attenuation so the reason you have you should never use high frequency band for ground wave propagation once noted please let me know yes sir next is sky wave propagation next is sky wave sky wave propagation what is this sky wave propagation we have to see sky wave propagation so sky waves are the am radio waves am means amplitude modulated am radio waves radio waves sky waves are radium radio waves which are received which are received received after being reflected 
after being reflected after being reflected from ionosphere ionosphere after being reflected from ionosphere the propagation the propagation of radio wave signals of radio wave signals from one point to another from one point to another from one point to another via reflection via reflection from ionosphere from ionosphere is called sky wave propagation sky wave propagation this is point number 1 yeah Yes, sir. Now let's move. On. The second point, point number two. The sky wave propagation. Sky wave propagation. The sky wave propagation is a consequence of. is a consequence is a is a consequence of total internal reflection internal reflection of radio waves of radio waves ionosphere ionosphere has free electrons and the free electron density free electron density increases as we move up as we move as we go into ionosphere density of ionosphere decreases with height density of ionosphere decreases with height 
decreases with height. Okay, no? Noted, Amma. Okay, right. Now, we define some terms. Critical frequency. What is critical frequency? So, critical frequency, it is given by F. C is equal to 9 into n max whole power half. What is n max? n max is maximum electron density. Maximum electron density of the ionosphere. Of the ionosphere. Maximum electron density of the ionosphere. N max is like per meter cube. N max is like per meter cube. Range of critical frequency is approximately is approximately 5 hertz to 10 megahertz 5 hertz to 10 megahertz five hertz to 10 megahertz. The frequencies, frequencies higher than this, higher than this, cross the ionosphere, cross the ionosphere and do not reflect back to it and do not reflect back to it and do not reflect back to it Yes, sir. No. The next one. Next point. 
sky wave propagation 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 is limited to the range of limited to the range of range of 2 to 30 megahertz this one thing next one maximum usable frequency it is called yam u yam maximum usable frequency it is the limiting frequency it is the limiting frequency it is the limiting frequency but for some specific angle of incidence but for some specific angle of incidence but for some some specific angle of incidence other than normal other than normal yam u f is given by critical frequency divided by cos theta so that is given by f c into secant theta where theta is some angle of incidence depending upon c vallu the angle of incidence ela consider chestadam manaku idea ledama so they will give some angle of incidence from that first critical frequency la calculate chestam critical frequency is calculated from the equation n 9 into n max whole power half n max ante number density of the electrons in that ionosphere okay clear yes sir okay so i don't have the detail theta is the what they have given is angle of incidence angle of incidence angle of incidence that is the angle that is they defined it as angle between normal and direction of incidence of force normal and direction of incidence direction of incidence of waves incidence of waves so as far as i know this is like uh, you see this is like ionosphere this is space okay so you draw a normal so this is how we take this angle of incidence as far as i know this is how they will take and then the wave will undergo total internal reflection backwards like this so because it is reflection this angle is also theta so more or less they will take like this that's what as far as i know
clear note it sir yes sir. last part today that is called skip distance skip distance so what is skip distance it is the shortest distance it is the shortest shortest distance from the transmitter it is the shortest distance from the transmitter measured along the surface of the earth 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 at which at which a sky wave a sky wave of of fixed frequency of fixed frequency sky wave of fixed frequency not more than fc not more than fc will be will be first received first received will be first received after reflection from ionosphere after reflection from ionosphere ionosphere after reflection from ionosphere Yes, sir. Okay. Now we have the equation B skip. The skip distance is given by two h into square root of f max by f c. F max by f c. Whole square minus one. This is called skip distance. So I'll define all the terms. H is equal to height of reflecting layer. Reflecting layer. Height of reflecting layer of atmosphere. height of reflecting layer of atmosphere f max is the maximum frequency maximum frequency of em waves 
and FC is the critical frequency. Critical frequency. Okay, it's noted. We'll solve a small problem now. Can I clear? So we have a small problem now. Find the critical frequency. Find the critical frequency. Find the critical frequency. Oh, for sky wave propagation. For sky wave propagation for sky wave propagation with the maximum density of electrons with the maximum density of electrons density of electrons in ionosphere in Ionosphere is ten to the power of twelve meter inverse. This is what it means. So what they have given? First, let's write the formula. Critical frequency formula is given by nine into n max whole power half. What they have given as n max? That is the number density of electrons. Number density of electrons is 10 to the power of minus 12, sorry, 10 power 12 meter inverse. They have given substitute that here. So 9 into 10 to the power of 12 whole power half. So that becomes 9 into 10 to the power of 6 heads. So that means 9 mega heads. That's the answer. This is in heads. Clear? I hope I'm clear. Okay, ma. Tomorrow we'll continue. Tomorrow class will be there. Same time. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, ma. Right. Bye. Bye. See you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, ma.